in the junkyard. What could go wrong except, wait a minute, I hear the rumble of a 345 cast iron scout Chicago, top of the line, beautiful. And a Corvair in the back. Good tin buddy. Very good tin buddy. Yay! Wow. He was just leaving the junkyard to head back east to Maine. I said, no, 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 Billy, 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 don't leave me here. I'm going to tootle off back at 50 miles an hour. My steering is still shaking. i got to change the ball joint. He was here two days before me. He gets a head start. Ooh, watch that big thunder. Look at that beautiful Corvair. It's a 1961 Lakewood station wagon with four brand new tires. Yep. Brand new, even had the stickies on them. Yep. <laughs> Billy, it has a broken window. It's junk. How much do they give you with the junk air to get rid of it? 50 bucks. Yeah, I would take a, it. It's like a. Well, I don't want to get rid of it. It's been in the family forever. Right, yeah, right. It's a family uh, heirloom. Oh, nice and undercoated. Uh oh. Got a big hole here and a big hole there. You should have left it on the ground. <laughs> At least when your feet went through, they wouldn't go so far down. A little crease in the door right yeah. here. Somebody's quack, whacked that right there and whacked it right there. And that fender right there got slugs. Yeah. Do a bit of a hit. Yeah. Not Nothing a gallon of Bondo won't fix. Oh, yeah. it's a little banged up around the 61 yeah. grill bar. T3 headlight, old fashioned headlight. That's a weird spot. Well, somebody tried to get into it with a key. Uh, some, some animal tried no, to get into it. Not a key them. with a hammer and a screwdriver. I think some animal tried to get the trunk open. I wonder how long this thing no, has been sitting. Billy, it's one. missing the gas door guard. It's going to scratch the paint. Gas cap. Nope. Not, oh, good. I hate things that are locked. How's the gas smell? <laughs> Probably ancient. Probably still good. No ethanol back when this thing was scrapped. Nice chrome windshield wipers. Oh, oh the rubber's a little thin. Oh, there is no rubber. <laughs> yeah, crack, oh. A lot of cracked windshields up on these cars. Because they don't have any inspection here. The seat's a little worn. You may have to bring it to an upholstery shop. Maybe a little bit of duct tape. I see that. Yeah, well, it's pure. Yep. You follow me pretty much where I'm going. Manual choke, 1961. Rubber floor mats. Yep. Automatic on. transmission, Billy, your favorite. No rowing. One, two, three. three four. <laughs> Trying to find reverse. <laughs> Waste of time. Oh, I like the mirror. My 67 Parisian had a mirror like that. Yeah, right from, from Canadian something. Tire. Junk. It's not Corvair, but it's That's for sure. Else. You see the cars at the car show sometimes are $50,000 cars, and they got these $3 mirrors. You're going to help me uh, hook up those chains. I don't know how to do those chains. I'm going to wrap around the axles maybe, or... Just wrap it around the whole control arm. It's important in case these straps break or oh, you, you wipe it going into a ditch, at least you won't dump it. Very, very solid underneath this thing is. Just those two floor holes. Yeah. This, this, had a, this had a factory undercoat too. Yeah. The whole thing's undercoated for probably yeah. cost $10 back in 61. I w used to work at a big Chevy dealership back in 81 and I used to undercoat vehicles for 150 bucks. Right. And the guy just was just paying, getting paid $3 an hour. He was just spraying stuff. He didn't care where it went. And I saw a guy, one of my tenants recently bought an F-150 and they rust proofed it for $400. And it was peeling off after one year in sheets, just oh. peeling off. And I said, they missed, they missed the spot where it rusts on the lip. They didn't even get the spot where it's going to rust. He says, oh, it was only 400 bucks. I said, well, when you're paying $35,000 for a truck, what's another 400 bucks down the drain? What a waste of money. What a waste of money. I'll help you hook these up. How's your... Uh... Oh, you got almost as much stuff in your I know. lower shrouds as I do. In the engine, it's all plugged up. Jeez. Oh, look at that nice tailpipe. Wow. I know, no muffler. It's a straight pipe. <laughs> We don't need no stinking muffler. <laughs> a young boy must have had it. Yeah. Probably felt tough in his automatic wagon. Yeah, even got the original <laughs> grill. Yes. No, no trailer. Trailer. I don't see no place for Oh, maybe they had it. Uh, they used to just use a hookup to, uh, I don't know. Burglarize or something? Maybe for burglars? Oh, got the original truck engine or the station wagon. Yep. Well, you have no. to use the key to open the wagons. There's no little button. No. There's no provisions for a trailer hitch. I don't know what that is for that. Little wiring generator and it's got oh it's got a side cooler is there a side cooler and plate or is that just plugged up no that's just uh, the way that's made that cooler oh that's the um the multi-fin one well, that, that was oil, the mud that oil is ancient it smells old old well sometimes it's burned that's burned yeah. sometimes you take out the dipstick after 50 years and it's bright red really that's not good that's burned this might need a rebuild in the next 25 years. Oh, Want my yeah. taillights? I got 464 taillights. It in shows 99,000 in this thing. I never know what that's when they, like a goat. That's when they traded it in at 99,000. Didn't want to hit the 100,000 mark. Used to have a spoiler here. 
I see that. Keep the dust off the back window. Yeah, yeah little things on the sides here. Yeah, they have little flippers like they used to have with the old station wagons. You get your Corvair and I've got mine. Dust. Yeah, Isn't that fun? I think it's a Wyoming, yeah, Wyoming car. No rust yeah, on the wheel little, lips. Little, little bang in the door, little, 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 uh, yeah, little, 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 little bit. A little piece right here too. This side, somebody was, somebody was too close. The paintless dent removal guys, I had them do my blazer, couldn't remove the dents. In that vehicle, they just put their special tools in with a mirror mm. and they pop out the dents. Yeah. Get about 90% out of it, so you don't really notice it. But I tried to have them do my blazer, he brought his big tool, and, uh, I can't get them steel to bend. I'll make us, I'll make us all pretty. Good gin button. I would just leave this patina just the way you see it. This is baked to a crisp. It's like an apple pie. Your grandma <laughs> says, I think I baked it a little too much. Grandma, I love it, burns. Oh, I love it. Look at that tin. Look at that. You can see the way they sprayed it on my Suburban before Fisher painted it. You can see the way the primer was the primer was sprayed. You can see the overlap, how it faded, and he painted it all over. Look at the chrome trim around the windshield. Even the roof is all stripped for me. I love Mother Nature. She stripped yep. the roof for me and the hood. Look at that mirror. Even that's burned to a crisp. Yeah. Tinted windshield. The windshield has been sitting there for 20 years. Yeah, it's windshield. Too bad. Well, smash. Because it's taller, the roof line's taller. Yeah. Never mind, never mind I'm glad you pulled in here so we get a nice family shot. A scout pulling a Lakewood and a BMW V12 pulling a Monza. <laughs> Nobody would ever believe it. Two junkyard dudes. Yeah, junkyard idiots. Totally. Yeah, two unproven cars. BMW that I just bought because I had to have a V12 BMW and a Corvair that I had to have because a friend of mine, a former long time ago customer, wanted it. So I hope he buys it because I got enough toys to play with. Let him enjoy it. I'll never get to it. Oh, this is crazy. At the junkyard.